They'll spend the summer licking their wounds and start figuring a way forward in the fall. The Ontario Liberal Party, after a devastating electoral defeat that brought an end to their 15 years in power and reduced their caucus to seven MPPs and without official party status, now has to find out where things went so wrong. Liberal MPP Mitzi Hunter said the party, reduced to seven MPPs, has heard from voters and now will look to rebuilding. The results speak for themselves, it was a clear message, said Hunter, who represents Scarborough Guildwood. We have to listen to that, Carlos Osorio, Toronto Star, Ontarians sent us a clear message. Liberal interim leader John Fraser, told the Star. We need to take a break and do some soul-searching. The caucus and the party, over the coming weeks and months, we will take a look at what went wrong and move forward in a way, together, that's in the interest of all Ontarians, the party, he said, spent $10 million to get seven seats. In that respect, membership wants some answers and we'll go forward and continue to take a hard look at ourselves and what happened. The Liberals, especially the seven who survived the election, know they have a lot of work ahead of them and will be at the center of rebuilding efforts. Article continued below. The first thing is listening to people, to get a better understanding of why people felt so disconnected, said MPP Michael Koto, who was re-elected in Don Valley East in a tough fight with PC candidate Denzo Min and Wong. Read more, opinion, Martin Ragcon, The Rise and Fall of Kathleen Wynne's Liberals Opinion, Karim Bardassi, How to Resurrect the Ontario Liberal Party Emotional Kathleen Wynne Resigns as Ontario Liberal Leader, What Was Really Behind the Hate for the Liberals, In Many Areas, Koto said he believes liberal values and policies still have support, but in the last few years, it was hard for people to stay connected to us. Article continued below Fraser has sent out a letter to the party faithful saying, A campaign postmortem would be held in September to pose the tough questions that need to be asked. Voters, he wrote, judged the party as not being worthy of their confidence, a verdict we must accept with humility but also with determination to grow stronger. But first, the Liberals have to fight for official party status at Queen's Park after they fell one seat short of being eligible for getting funding and the opportunity to regularly ask questions in the legislature. As of Friday, sources said the progressive conservatives were not in favor of granting it. After the June 7th vote, the Liberals faced the wrath of voters who reduced their numbers to a handful of MPPs, including Koto, departing Premier Kathleen Wynne and Mitzi Hunter in the Toronto area, Fraser, Natalie Desrosiers and Marie-France Lalonde in the Ottawa area, and Michael Gravel in Thunder Bay Superior North. The results speak for themselves. It was a clear message, Hunter, who represents Scarborough Guildwood. We have to listen to that, outrage over issues like hydro, that was the piece that was obvious, said Koto, who held three prominent cabinet portfolios in the Wynn government, children and youth, anti-racism and community and social services. But there are other pieces that are there that are less obvious, and we need to talk about them, apart from gaining party status, the Liberals will need to make sure they keep the party in the news, said Kathy Brock, a policy studies and political science professor at Queen's University. But the more important thing is that the Liberal Party has to get in touch with its constituency associations and find out what was said at the doors during the election campaign, she said. It's not just anger that brought them down, she added. What they've got to do is a good analysis of where did things go wrong, and then start to rebuild the party platform that way. They alienated their own voters. So many turn to the NDP this time, she said, if the Liberals give them a reason to come back, they will. As for the party, the other piece that's going to be challenging, we are going to be in debt. Koto added, at a time when fundraising is not going to be like it has been over the last 15 years, he said, we are going to have to go back to the base, and we are going to have to build together and we are going to have to get ourselves out of debt. I don't know if it's going to take four years or eight years to rebuild the party, but I know one thing, it's going to take a long time and we'll know better a year from now, with files from Robert Benzie.